Greetings everyone! My name is Raymark G. Malavega. Currently, I am a third year college student at Romblon State University, Romblon Campus, taking up Bachelor of Science in Secondary Education, major in Mathematics. Before we proceed to our video discussion for this day, I would like to encourage everyone to please do like and subscribe to this YouTube channel account that is Sir Jaime YouTube channel. This is the YouTube channel account of my instructor in mathematics subject where you can learn through his video tutorials about different topics with regards to the mathematics subject. So now, let's start! Our topic for today's discussion is all about modular arithmetic. By definition, modular arithmetic deals primarily with operations and applications regarding remainders. Essentially, it is just another way to express remainders, and it has many useful applications. Specifically, we will also discuss the application of modular arithmetic in division and remainder, congruence class, and the famous application in clock or also known as time arithmetic. When doing long division, we have learned to use remainders. For this example, when we divide 12 by 5, we see a remainder of 2. Now let's take a look at how we can write this in two different ways. The first way is to try the long division method. 12 divided by 5 is equal to 2 remainder 2. And it can also be written in the form of a modular notation that is equal to 12 is congruent to 2 mod 5. Remember that when working with modular notation, a common phrase we use is x is congruent to a mod b, where a can be any number that has the same remainder as x when divided by b. And also, a will be the smallest positive integer between 0 and b. Now, let's try for another example. Find 96 in modulus 5. By using long division method, we can say that 96 has a remainder of 1 when divided by 5. And therefore, we can also express that in modular notation as 96 is congruent to 1 mod 5. Another topic that we're going to tackle in modular arithmetic is the congruence class. It is a way to organize the set of all numbers who have the same remainder when divided by some modulo m. We denote a congruence class as a where a is the remainder. Now, let's take a look at the numbers 0 to 11 and what they are congruent to in modulo 4. Now, let's organize all of our answers into congruence classes. Clearly, these are infinite sets that spread from negative infinity to positive infinity. We can even make equations to summarize every number that can be in the set using any integer k, as shown in your screen. Notice that the congruence classes for the modulo m only exist from 0 to m minus 1. As shown on the table, for modulo 4, there only exist congruence classes 0, 1, 2, and 3. How about for the congruence classes that exist for modulo 7? 
So the congruence classes that exist for modulo 7 are 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and 6. And now, we are going to proceed to our last topic for today's discussion, which is about the application of modular arithmetic in clock or time arithmetic. Looking at a 12-hour analog clock, it is easy to tell from this what hour is it currently. It is up to us to know if it is AM or PM. However, what if we have a 24-hour digital clock? Let us solve this example. It is 1300 hours in a 24-hour world. What time is it in a 12-hour world? So, we can write this in a modular notation. 13 is congruent to 1 mod 12. A useful thing to remember is that the number of total items there are in the question is usually the modulo we are working in. In this case, 12 hours means we are working in modulo 12. So, 1300 hours in a 24 hour world is the same as 1 hour in a 12 hour world. Modular arithmetic does not only limit to time or clock schedules, but there are still various ways on how to apply modular arithmetic on our daily lives. It could be in finding the days you were born, from a deck of cards, or from a location and distance measurements, and even the arrangement of things that we even didn't notice at all. For the last part, you may answer the following exercises that I'm giving to enhance your problem-solving skills in modular arithmetic concepts and explanations. You may solve it on your paper. Oops, my time has ended. And that's end my discussion for today. Hoping that you have learned something in our lesson for today. Thank you very much.